Now, the topic that I have uh, thought of uh, discussing is the double circulation. We call it double circulation because the blood uh, passes through the heart twice. Once uh, between the lungs and the heart, which we regard, uh, which we name as uh, pulmonary circulation, and uh, then it uh, when it when it passes through, through the heart and the body organs, various body organs, we refer to it as uh, systemic circulation, as uh, it passes uh, through two circuits, so lungs and the heart, the first circuit, and then uh, heart and the body organs, the second circuit. We refer this circulation to the double circulation. Let me proceed uh, with my uh, screen. Let me share my screen, please. Topic is double circulation in humans, as I said. So uh, discussing this topic, first we'll proceed towards the structure of the heart, the internal structure of the heart. As we all know that our heart is the shape of our fist, owner's fist, tightened fist, and it is kept in, it is placed in between the two lungs, slightly tilted towards the left side. All right. Now, uh, when we talk about the internal structure of the heart, we know that it has got two upper auricles and two lower ventricles. Auricles are the receiving chambers. They receive the blood from the different parts of the body, whereas ventricles, they distribute blood to different parts of the body. There are major blood vessels. The first one being artery. We can see here on the screen, it's aorta. <clears throat> the largest artery is the aorta, which distributes the oxygenated blood from heart to different parts of the body. And then there are the other two major blood vessels. We call them vena cava. One is superior vena cava and the other one is inferior vena cava. Superior, as you can see, it's collecting blood from the upper part of the body, deoxygenated blood vein. So it will be carrying deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood means blood that contains more of oxygen, less of carbon dioxide. So we refer to it as deoxygenated blood. Whereas inferior vena cava collects deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body, right? Apart from that, we have got the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein also. So we will talk about their function and structure uh, in sequence. And then we have got the major uh, muscular flaps. We call them valves, valves or muscular flaps. There are four valves in the human heart, the uh, cuspid valves, two cuspid valves, and two semilunar valves, okay? And apart from this, the in between the two auricles, as the two upper chambers are auricles, in between the auricles, there is one uh, partition, we call it uh, interauricular septum. In between the ventricles, there is a partition again, we call it interventricular septum, okay? Now let's, uh, I have made uh, a simplified version of this double circulation that will be easy for the students to understand the double circulation in a simplified way and it will be helpful also for them to keep them in, keep that in mind, the process in mind. Now here we can see that the um, heart present in between, lungs I have placed at one part to understand that there is a circulation between lungs and the heart. We can see the color, the coloring used in the diagram is for the left side of the heart, it is red color which is being used. For the right side of the heart, blue color has been used. Now this red color has been used, it says that the heart, uh, <clears throat> sorry, red side of the heart carries oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood, blood which is rich in oxygen. And when we talk about the left side of the, uh, right side of the heart, sorry, right side of the heart carries uh, the deoxygenated blood, so it's blue in color. Deoxygenated means it carries more of carbon dioxide. All right. Now, when we talk about <coughs> the circulation process, see, uh, the red color, red color part of the heart here, from here, as you can refer to the uh, cursor, 
blood flows from this part of the heart, from the left part of the heart, to the left chambers of the heart, to the outer, outer being the largest artery. So outer carries oxygenated blood and it passes that oxygenated blood to different parts of the body, different parts of the body organs, to the visceral organs, to the abdominal organs, to the legs uh, and all the different organs present there. It passes, it, 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 it supplies rather oxygenated blood to all parts of the body and receives deoxygenated blood. So from the body organs and body tissues, deoxygenated blood comes out of the body and then it falls into the right auricle of the heart. So this right auricle of the heart is receiving the deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood is present in the right auricle of the heart. Now it needs to fall down to the right, uh, from right auricle, it will fall into the right ventricle. The arrowhead represents that. But before that, there is a cuspid valve. And if you can check in the diagram, it has got three cusps, three muscular flap-like structures, three muscular flaps. It opens up and blood flows down into the ventricle. Now the ventricle is filled with now the, uh, the ventricle is filled with deoxygenated blood. Which ventricle we are talking about? Right ventricle we are talking about. Okay, from right auricle to right ventricle, blood comes and flows down to the ventricle, and that is filled with deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood. Now it has got only one uh, uh, out outlet to move out, which is that that's the pulmonary artery. Through the pulmonary artery. This deoxygenated blood now heads towards lungs. But why uh, we have named it as pulmonary artery? Because blood vessels carrying blood away from the heart, they are named as arteries. And this one, specifically this artery, this blood vessel is taking blood from the heart to the lungs. And the term we use in biology for lungs is pulmonary. So it is termed as pulmonary artery. Clear. Now, the pulmonary artery, once it enters into pulmonary artery, at the mouth of the pulmonary artery, there is again a valve. And it's a half moon shaped valve. It's a half moon shaped valve, semi lunar valve. We call it semi lunar valve. Okay. So, this semi lunar valve opens up, blood flows down into the pulmonary artery, and then blood reaches the lungs in between the flap closes so that no backward movement of blood is there. Blood reaches lungs. What kind of blood? It's the deoxygenated blood. So in the lungs, oxygenation takes place, rather purification takes place, and the purified or oxygenated blood enters through the pulmonary vein into the left auricle of the heart. Okay, as you can see in the diagram, it's colored in red, uh, keeping in mind that uh, the um, left side of the heart is filled with oxygenated blood that I talked about, right? Now, one thing to keep in mind that this pulmonary vein, there are two lungs, right? We have a, a two lungs on both the sides of the heart and in each lung, two pulmonary, uh, uh, two pulmonary artery enters. Two pulmonary artery enters and comes out from, so two lungs in each two pulmonary artery, so total four pulmonary arteries. So naturally, when they will come out with the, uh, after purification with oxygenated blood, we will have four pulmonary vein. So two pulmonary vein from each lung comes and pours its oxygenated blood into the left auricle of the heart. So left auricle is filled with oxygenated blood. From the left auricle, blood now has to flow down to the left ventricle. Now, before going there, we again have another cuspid valve. And if you can see in the, um, uh, on the screen that there are two cusps. So naturally, what will be the name? It's bicuspid valve. So blood flows down into the lower chamber here, which is the ventricle, okay? Which is the left ventricle. In the left ventricle, what kind of blood is filled in? Uh, it is oxygenated blood. From the left ventricle, again, there is a valve present at the mouth of the outer. What is that? Look at the shape of the valve. It's half moon shaped. So it's semi-lunar valve. The semi-lunar valve again opens, the flaps open, blood flows down and the flap closes. Once the flap closes, no backward flow of blood can take place. And now the oxygenated blood has entered into the outer. This way, the two circulation, the, this double circuit keeps on continuing in heart. So again, repeating between, between lungs and the heart, 
it's the pulmonary circulation and between lungs and the body organs, it is systemic circulation. So as it's as the blood is circulating twice in between heart and the lungs, so we call it double circulation. Okay. So that way we can understand that in humans, we have a double circulation uh, that goes through. Here again, I have a schematic presentation uh, that will help you to understand the same process in a more, uh, more elaborate manner rather. Like you can see here, there is lung, there are the four chambers, the labelings which, which I did not do in my diagram. It will be clear to you from here. You can recall from this diagram how we talk about, see, this is pulmonary circulation. This is the systemic circulation and along with all the major blood vessels. Thank you so much.